family, I had 24 hours to live, and if anyone wanted to say their last goodbyes to me, that they should come up to the hospital and do so. Um, the priest was called in to give me my last words, and they basically waited for me to die. But it was an infectious disease specialist who was looking over my test results, and um, she discovered I had pneumonia, which explained everything. Um, so at this time, my family went back to work, and I was taken out of the intensive care unit, and I was put in a regular room. And that's where I was on this day. Uh, it was a knock at the door, and it was the doctor. And so I told the doctor that uh, he could come in, and um, he says, uh, you know, Marlon, I have something very, very serious to tell you. And I said, okay. And he said, you're aware that you have pneumonia. And um, I said, yes, I've been told. And he said, it's, 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 it's worse than that. And so I was 19 years old at the time, and I was like, Lord, it's the worst thing he could possibly tell me. And I, and I just looked at him, and I just said, oh, my God, I'm, I'm pregnant. And um, he said, no, you're not pregnant. You're HIV positive. And when he said that, I just looked at him. I had definitely heard about HIV before, but I didn't care about HIV. And so that moment right then when he was telling me that I was HIV positive, so I, uh, I began asking questions, and he couldn't even answer my questions because he didn't have a lot of information about HIV because I was in the emergency room. I wasn't at the health department or aid service organization where they test people on a day-to-day -day basis for HIV. So he told me he needed to go get more information, and when he did, I could tell HIV was something more serious than I ever took it for. So I immediately began picking up the phone, calling friends. Uh, the first person I called was my best friend. And she was at work, and I just casually said it. I was like, girl, the doctor uh, told me I'm, uh, I'm HIV positive. And she said, well, 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 I'm at work, and as soon as I get off work, I'm going to come and see you. And I said, okay. So I called my next friend, who was uh, eight months pregnant with my godchild. And I told her I was HIV positive. And she said, well, I don't want you to have anything to do with me or my child uh, now that you're HIV positive. And... Um, you know, it, it, it takes me by surprise, but a part that really made me so mad was before we had went to the hospital, um, I had her this big baby shower, and I bought my supposed god child, like, a car seat and all this stuff, and I'm thinking, do I get that back now that I'm not your child's godmother anymore? I mean, that was my main concern uh, at that point. And so then I, I, I started calling more people because I think I was calling people because I wanted somebody to tell me, oh, everything was going to be okay. Um, I, I truly did not know what, what, what HIV was, and I just wanted some, some kind of, somebody to just say it would be okay. So the next person I called was my sister, and she's a hairdresser from Nashville, Tennessee, where I'm originally from. And uh, I, I started to tell her, and she said, I already know. And uh, I was like, how do you already know? Evidently, those two people I, you know, had called to tell, they text two people, and then they text 10, and, you know, word kept kept spreading that I was HIV positive, so it got back to my sister. And my sister said, you should tell our mom she doesn't know. I think it's best for it to come from you. So I called my aunt, and then I called my mom. And when I got to my mom, she said, don't you tell anybody anything. If they want to know what's wrong with you, you better tell them that you have cancer. And I said, uh, okay. I immediately thought I had brought shame to my mother. Um, I felt like I disappointed my mother throughout my childhood. I mean, every day she would set very high expectations for me, and then every day she would tell me how I wouldn't reach them. I just didn't have a close relationship with my mom, so when she told me to tell people I had cancer, I immediately thought I had disappointed her yet again. So at this time, she told me, um, um, you know, um, so, but I know that she was trying to protect me from stigma. Now, I didn't really know what HIV stigma was or what stigma was, period. 